everyone, I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful week. Welcome back to the vlog. This week I am talking all about my top, top patterns or my top jersey top patterns to be precise. Um, so I don't know about you, but I love wearing stretchy knit tops. I pair them with jeans um, and sometimes skirts and they just really are a massive everyday staple for my wardrobe. So um, before I get into chatting about that a little bit more, I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button just down there. Um, it really means a lot to me. We've just hit for 5,000 subscribers, which is unbelievable. Thank you so much if you're already subscribed um, but if you're not um, please do hit the button and then you can catch up with the vlogs every week right so as I say uh, jersey tops are a huge wardrobe staple for me so I thought I would chat through my top five top <laughs> how many times am I gonna say top my top five jersey top patterns there you go I'll try not to say that again too many times. There are obviously hundreds and hundreds of jersey patterns out there for tops and um, I can't mention them all. So I've just narrowed it down to five of all the ones that I've tried that I really, really loved um, that I think are quite simple and easy to wear and will really help you um, top up your me made wardrobe. I've tried to cover a mix of pattern companies. I've got three that are printed patterns one PDF pattern and one that's from a book. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk you through all five of them. The first one is the one that I'm wearing, which I love. This is the Liesl & Co Maritime Top and I'm going to pop a picture of it up here so that you can see. So I've talked about this top a few times and I love it. I actually hadn't made this until quite recently because I thought, well, do I need another jersey top pattern in my life when, as I've already said, there are so many of them. And um, it looked fairly simple, but I'm really pleased that I made it. I'm going to stand up and show you. So this is a cotton jersey that I'm wearing, which works really well with this pattern. It is, I don't need to say that, stand that far back. It is an art gallery. Um, one that we've got in at the moment which I love because I love the colours but um, yeah I've gone for a three quarter length sleeve <laughs> it's really funny my neighbours are outside and um, he's on the phone so if he looks in he's probably going to think why is that woman sitting in her living room talking to herself on camera Anywho, uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's got, I went for a three quarter length sleeve, but it does have a um, longer sleeve option, and it's got a, what I would class as a semi fitted shape, pull my trousers up, so if I stand back, you can see, so it's not really very fitted at the waist, um, but it's got a nice fit around the bust, and it's got an ever so slight drop shoulder, uh, so it just comes off the shoulder there and then the neck finish which is my favourite bit is with a facing and you can see as well that I've just using a, using, used a contrasting pink zigzag top stitch just to do the facing and also for the sleeves and the hem which you probably can't see anyway so yeah, I really love it. I like the shape, I like how it's not too fitted, but it's still fitted enough to not feel shapeless. I love the facing because neck, ba neck bands, I don't mind doing neck bands actually, um, and that is my preferred way to finish jersey patterns normally, but I haven't actually done a jersey facing before, just because I haven't had any patterns that have had it in. I use it for woven patterns, but yeah, not so much on jersey. And it was a really easy, simple way to finish the neckband, but give a really nice finish, so you've got that nice um, edge there. And I like the drop shoulder because it made the sleeves even easier to insert so the uh, sleeve is almost flat it's got an ever so slight curve but it's completely symmetrical so you can insert it in the flat really really easily and it sewed up really quickly so this one is a definite winner for me and probably um, my new number one I would say which is why I've started with this one right I'm gonna get changed and show you the next one <laughs> and sorry if I'm rushing today by the way guys <laughs> I've actually got to leave in about half an hour to pick up my husband from the airport so I'm gonna try and talk quickly and get through these right I'll be back 
uh, before I talk about the this one, I should have said in the last one for my uh, maritime top, I didn't make any pattern adjustments at all, so it was really, really simple to show, sew up. Can't speak Russian. Um, also, I should say that if you're thinking, well, these are great, but I can't sew jersey, or I don't know how to sew jersey, um, you don't feel confident doing it, there is a vlog that I did a while back, which was my top tips for, I love a bit of alliteration, clearly. <laughs> top tips for sewing with jersey so I will link that up here um, and you can watch that um, and that will help you sew up any of these. So this is, in case you don't recognise it already, this is the Sew Over It Molly Top and um, I will stand back a bit so you can see. It has got a much lower drop sleeve so the pattern piece for the main body is quite a bit wider so it does take a bit more fabric because you have to fit the whole of the bodice pieces on including this wide drop sleeve um, but I do like the finish it gives you and the opportunity to kind of mix and match so this was again this is made with a cotton jersey uh, that we had in last year and um, it's a nice way to contrast it and this one has a high neck still maybe not quite as high as the maritime but it also has a really nice wide neckband which I love um, and again it's got a, a not quite so fitted at the waist so it's not clingy and this one has a curved hem at the front and the back so I really like that it's really flattering to have a curved hem on the hip and um, I wear this one a lot it's about well I made it up just after the Sew Over ebook came out because that's where this pattern can be found in that ebook so it is a PDF only and you have to buy the whole book um, so that must have been what maybe a year or so ago and I wear it probably at least once a fortnight and um, it's really easy to wear. I like the higher neck on it and I like the neckband because again as you can see on this example I've used um, the fabric in a contrasting way so um, I really like the options that that gives you and I like the fact that I can bend forward and it's not too gratuitous um, and sometimes you just need tops with a higher neck um, and for me as I say I quite like a neckband finish so yeah uh, I think it's a really nice one and it's interesting enough to be different because you've got those drop sleeves and the shaping options and um, um, again that one was sewn up with absolutely no adjustment so really pleased with that Ta -da! if you've got the ebook I would definitely recommend making this because this is Again, I had every intention of making about five of these for my wardrobe, but I've got distracted with other patterns, uh, so uh, I might have to make another one of these quite soon. Okay, uh, I'm going to change into something that is quite different in style now, so just hold on for one second. <laughs> So I've just realised, because I've upped the brightness, because it's quite a dull day today and I don't have my lights with me, I now look like I blend into the wall in this. Um, this is slightly more cream than it's looking compared to my walls. Um, <laughs> I am here, hello. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top and this is our Cobra Corsage viscose jersey and that is a loose thread that I haven't snipped. So I have made this in probably what you call bracelet length so just a little bit longer than three quarter lengths but not full length. I very very rarely wear full length uh, sleeve tops because I always roll my sleeves up I feel weird um, unless I'm wearing like a baggy jumper or something um, but this pattern is a lot more fitted than the other patterns so obviously because it's made in a viscose jersey it is um, more drapey and a little bit more slinky and the pattern itself has a much more pronounced uh, curve at the waist than the other ones that I've shown you. I'll pop a picture of the pattern up here so you can see it. There are a couple of different versions on the pattern that you can do. So you can make a ruffle or gathered sleeve head. You can do a gathered uh, front of the bust there. But I just make the plain, simple version time and time again. I feel like with the Agnes's, they're really good if you want to kind of show off a bit more shape. They're also um, nice, like this one is the kind of thing that I would wear if I was going out in the evening 
so not sort of out out for a really dressy night but somewhere where I just want to wear a nice pair of jeans, some heels and a top I'd wear this with some statement earrings and um, a really bold red lipstick and actually that's kind of dressy enough and I think that this top is perfect for that um, but likewise if you didn't want it to be quite so um, form fitting you could make it out of a cotton jersey um, but it would still have more of a shape as I say because of the um, curve in at the waist so if you like that this is a really really good option and I've got about 10 of these probably and again I've sewn this up without any adjustments to the pattern so that you could see it and um, it is uh, straight across at the hip that if you wanted to curve it you could do I'll start back so you can see it a little bit more and the only thing I would say is I would wear this one, not with these jeans, because these jeans have a really bulky fly on them. Um, because it's a viscose jersey, it's quite drapey, so you can see it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I really, really love the Agnes pattern. I've seen um, loads and loads, hundreds and hundreds of versions of it, and they always look nice. It's got quite a wide neck as well, which for me, because I'm full busted I find really flattering um, I do know that some people find it a little bit too wide for them in which case you could really easily add in a little bit on the shoulder sorry that's um, the cat eating her dinner um, you could add in a little bit on the shoulder so that it brings the neckline in um, the other thing I have done on this uh, version actually I say I made it with no alterations but I did do a very slight narrow shoulder adjustment because I do find that the shoulders come out a little bit wide and actually I could probably still do with maybe another centimetre on there because it's sitting right there and I would probably prefer it to come up a little bit so that's just something to bear in mind if you're full busted it works really well um, but if you've got sort of narrow shoulders comparable to your bust then you might want to shave a little bit off there so yeah love the Agnes that is number three in Top of the Tops. I'll be back with number four. So I'm back with number four, and this is the Frankie T from the Tilly and the Button stretch book, which is her latest um, book. And I particularly love this one because it has a raglan sleeve. So you can see, again, really good opportunity for mixing and matching. Um, if I stand back, I added a little bit of length onto this when I made it. I think I added on about an inch, but then I did put quite a deep hem in, so I ended up not needing as much length. Um, it is classed as a, a baseball tee, so that kind of raglan style um, t shirt, um, which I think has got a much more kind of casual vibe to it, and um, it's finished with a neckband. The other change that I made to this is I lowered the neckband slightly, uh, sorry, the bodice piece so that the neckline comes down slightly lower because it should sit probably another couple of centimetres higher and for me, because of my full bust, um, it is, wasn't as flattering. So yeah, I lowered the neckline down on that. Um, I can see, I don't know if it's just because I haven't ironed it because I'm in a rush, but there is a little bit of wrinkling on um, my uh, raglan seams there, probably to do with the fact that I haven't done a full bust adjustment and I probably could do with doing one. Um, that said, most of the time I am of the opinion that personally for myself, I feel like one of the great joys about sewing up knitted tops or jersey tops is that they are super quick, super easy, and they are relatively easy to fit because um, the jersey moulds to your body a lot easier than woven fabrics do. So I don't tend to do a full bust adjustment on my knitted um, tops. Shoot me if you wish, um, but that's the, um, the way I like to approach it. So yeah, there are a few um, pull lines on there, but I don't think anyone who doesn't sew would look at them and think 
she needs to do a full bust adjustment so yeah I really like this one because I think it's quite different to the others it's um, a much more sporty kind of relaxed style it's really comfy and you've got those mix and match options as well so I'm going to change into the final one which is probably a pattern you have all heard of and um, give you my verdict on that okay so this is the final one this is as I say one you've probably all heard of it is the Tilly and the Buttons Coco pattern it is probably the most well-known beginner jersey top slash dress pattern there is out there Tilly has designed it really really with beginners in mind so it is very very simple I'll stand back and show you it has a much looser fit than the others so the sleeves are a lot looser fitting and the body is a lot looser fitting as well has a slight sort of flared shape so if you make the dress version the flare continues out a little bit more it's kind of 60s inspired i have made it from our textured um breton stripe because who can go wrong with a breton stripe and if you look, it's a turn and stitch necklines. There's no neckband, no facing. Um, I have overlocked the edge before. Did I? No, I didn't actually. I didn't even overlock the edge. Um, I just turned it, stitched it with a, a zigzag. And uh, yeah, it's really, really simple. Oh, give myself enough room to sit down. So this would be the one that I would say to start with if you were looking for a really, really simple, quick, pattern they're all relatively simple and quick this one is even quicker because it doesn't have a neck binding doesn't have a neck facing nothing it's literally three pieces front back and sleeve and you could sew it up relatively quickly it's also drafted for you to be able to make it out of um slightly heavier weight jersey so ponty and um, this is a ponty so it's uh, nowhere near as stretchy as some of the other jerseys um it's definitely nowhere near as stretchy and drapey as a viscose jersey so again it's perfect if you're looking for something a little bit warmer or you're not as confident working with stretch fabric so you want to work with something that's a little bit more stable to start with like a ponty um, for me personally I don't really like a turned and stitched neckline um, that much that said this this actually looks fine um, I've got a few cocos and I've done various different things. I have put a facing on one, I think, and I've also used a neckband on another. Um, but this one I wanted to do so that you could see it. Again, I have found that the shoulders come up a little bit wide, so I've taken a good couple of centimetres off of the shoulder there. And this one I find for me with my full bust. Again, I don't think this is anything that anyone who doesn't sew and isn't overly critical <laughs> of what they wear would notice. But I do find I've got a little bit more excess fabric under my armpit and the uh, because of my full bust. So I could do with making a slightly smaller size and doing a full bust adjustment. But as I say, I feel like my life is too busy and too short to do that. Um, but I do like it. It's really wearable. It's really, really quick and easy. And again, it's got a much comfier, kind of more casual vibe because of that looser fit. And um, personally, I feel like a Breton stripe is perfect for it. But I've made it in a few other fabrics as well, as I say. And I've made the dress version a couple of times too. If you um, check out some of my um, other makes vlogs, you'll see it. So there we go, that is my five. The maritime knit top, which I think has a really lovely finish, really lovely neckline. Um, it's really well drafted and the sleeves are super, super easy to sew. And I think the shape is, yeah, really, really spot on. You've then got the uh, sew over it molly top, which again has um, a really nice drop shoulder, a nice high neck with that thick uh, neckband and the curved hem. I should say because it is PDF only, for those of you that I do get asked quite a lot about PDF patterns and how I print them and stick them together, the answer is I don't um, print and stick anymore. I use um, a printing service called Net Printer which I will link down below and they'll print on AO sheets for you. So I tend to do that for all my PDFs now. There are others as well but I haven't tried them so I know there's one called Pattern Z 
um, or Pat Patton Z, I think it's called, um, and others out there too. Um, but yeah, you can also print it obviously on A4 paper and stick it together. Uh, then you have got the Agnes, which I think is lovely for a much more fitted shape, definitely something you could dress up or dress down. Um, that really nice, um, deeper neckline, which I think is really flattering, especially if you've got a um, bigger bust, but just watch the shoulders on that. Um, and then the Frankie top, which is obviously the baseball style with the raglan sleeves, really, really nice, casual, sporty vibe, love that one. And again, a really good opportunity to mix and match. And then finally the Coco, which is probably the simplest pattern that you could find and is brilliant for beginners. So those are my five that I've picked. There are so many others that I could have chosen. So feel free to leave a comment below with your favorite jersey top pattern so that other people can see them. Um, there's one by Deer and Doe that I really want to try. There are a couple by Cashmerette that are really popular that we stock in the shop um, so yeah there there are there are literally hundreds of them and they're all um, or a lot of them are quite similar but I feel like those five have enough differences to mean that they all have a place in my wardrobe so um, I can do another video like this with I was thinking maybe with Ponty um, or Jersey dresses because now getting into the colder months there are so many of those in my wardrobe I wear them all the time I wear them with tights and boots and I can wear them to work or dress them up um, so if you'd be interested in that then just let me know I'm sorry that this video is going up late this week but um, it's been really really hectic <laughs> as ever and I'm going to um, finish this and go and pick my husband up from the airport now and hopefully I'm not going to be late but I hope you all have a really really good week as I said before if you haven't subscribed it would be amazing if you could I'd love it if you would join in the channel um, and leave me a comment below and I will catch up with you all on Friday take care everyone bye <laughs>